What is up, Shakers and Groovers? Shit Show Disco here, and welcome to another amazing episode of The Music That Made You. Now, I am here with a very special guest today, Mr. Brayden Cicado. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah that boy! Was, 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 was <laughs> Bro, I've, honestly, I find it... Every time I see your name, I have to like say it back to me. Yeah. <laughs> because I want to make sure I get it right. So it is Cicado. Yeah, the Australian way. Okay, so if what's you the Italian way? Get, like Italian, Chicato. Fuck <laughs> off. Yeah. Bro, that's fire. Yeah. <laughs> Chicato. But, um, yeah. But like Papito. <laughs> <laughs> that's radical. Now, um, thanks heaps for coming on tonight's show, dude. Thank you, fam. Mate, absolute pleasure. I can't wait to uh, find out the songs that have uh, made you into the camp paprika lord that you are not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the chef. Oh, perfect. It's a bit of a journey. Is it a bit of a journey? Yeah. That's yeah, sick. Yeah. We got all night. Yeah, 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 we do. <laughs> all right, dude. Um, Now, how long have you been uh, DJing for? Um, you just moved that a bit. So, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. He's like, um, yeah, not till you're um, not till you're 16. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, all right, fair enough. And then. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, there we are. We're yeah, good beautiful. Now. Yeah. <laughs> about. Um, <laughs> about. Uh, what do you call it? Two days after I turned 16, I had a house party lined up. Very nice. And um, yeah, from then on, just been running around with my old uh, old DJ name used to be called DJ Brados. DJ Brados. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's gangster. That was filled with uh, a lot of bangers. Yeah. To say just the least. Banging yeah. Tech House, just nonstop. No, nah, no. Nah. Tech House wasn't even exposed to me until I was released a few stuff. Yeah. I'm talking Lil John. Oh, nice. Like a G6, you know, a bit of flow rider. Yeah, yeah. somebody did get low. Yeah, <laughs> yeah people, yeah. Oh. Yeah, chicks are getting low. <laughs> so how, uh, have you lived on the, the coast your whole life? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. sick. So bread. what was, uh, what was your first kind of, um, obviously you had your house parties and stuff. Yeah. What was your first like real gig when you felt like? I, um, I got hooked up with a gig at, um, do you remember a place called Blush Nightclub? Yes, yeah, I do yeah. actually. There in, you go. Um, Shorty did get low. Yeah, yeah. Next to the uh, the cop shop, I was um I was seventeen and actually had a uh, uh my mate's fake ID, and um yeah, that was um I was playing playing there, played a few gigs there with a fake ID under a different name completely. It's gangster <laughs> shit. <laughs> Here I am thinking it's just like chill ass dude. He's actually a thug. That's so good. Yeah. So yeah, got to got to play a few gigs there, and then um. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah, first nightclub. So that was, that was pretty That's fun. mad. How'd you feel like <laughs> going back to school on Mondays, bro? Or were you... Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, just <laughs> flexing pretty hard. Yeah, yeah, you know how it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the best. No, it was good fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, oh, that's so good. <laughs> so, obviously, uh, apart from uh, from those gigs um, where you've said your old alias used to be, you know, pretty lit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, how would you describe uh, what you do now? genre yeah i'd say i um sort of a mix a, a blend of sounds i'm trying to push forward and really nail is like a mix between like disco yeah sort of underground disco mixed with a bit of minimal house and techno yeah cool yeah so when <laughs> i just uh, like sort of an underground on undergroundy like fun fun feel yeah so yeah. when you're uh, talking yeah. about disco you obviously mean um you were disco not like your earth fire and wind and stuff yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah more yeah. like your glitter box. Yeah, yeah, all, all, all of that vibe. stuff. Um, bunch of like low key artists off Bandcamp and all of that. Yeah, like um, Man, there's some gems there. Hey, yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah. Like, and um, yeah, just uh, like indie dance as well. Been yeah, inspired mate, by um, big fan. Yeah, yeah, been inspired by like out and used to play that. Yep. Elsewhere, I used to Friday used mate, to be like my favorite day. It's made yeah. Sundays with stretch used to be just like yeah. <laughs> man, that used to be a session block. cats. All those boys <sighs> back in the day, yeah. <laughs> Bro, that was yeah. that was um yeah those 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 are some really those good were the good old days. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that, guys, when DJ wasn't illegal. That's how, that's how gangster he is. He has a fake ID and he illegally is now DJ. Um, now if you uh, had to showcase uh, a song to kind of put forward the music you're playing now, uh, yeah. what what would what would that be? Um, it would be, it would probably. Probably like a underground sort of house house track. Yeah. Um, this label label in uh Melbourne called uh, not Melbourne, London called Fuse. Yeah. Fuse London. Do you have uh, any of those tracks with you? Yeah, sure do. Oh mate, <laughs> mate, this is uh, what it's about, guys. <laughs> Coming prepared. 
So um, a cheeky little label from Melbourne. I mean, from uh, London. From sorry, London, yeah. Called yeah. Fuse. Yeah. And uh, what's this track about? Um, it's just a it's just a bit of a groover, you know. It's got like nice nice girls' voice over the top of yep. it. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, it's a dance. Yeah, sweet as. What's it called? Uh, it's called Maximum Whip. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah, <laughs> speaks is, for itself. That is naughty. Yeah, man. Uh, anyway, this is uh, Maximum Width. Who's it by? Uh, Rich Next. Rich Next. Well, uh, yeah. let's give this bad boy a spin, eh? Oh, guys, how was that? <laughs> Wasn't that just a cheeky little banger? Um, yeah, his dad was actually just training him for life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Training, um, yeah, training hard for life. Training hard for life. Some good life lessons during that time. <laughs> That's the best. He's gone through the routine. <laughs> Put her in, eh, Dad? <laughs> Now, um, not many people, maybe some people are watching, don't know where you've played or, or what you've uh, done. Whereabouts uh, do you play at the moment? Not at the moment. <laughs> uh, just in my bedroom yeah. at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> some sweet streams. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I've been, um, been around the block to say the least. Yep. Yeah. Been Dude. tapped into, um, uh, been, I was like running the Saturday nights at where else yep. back when that, yeah, that, mate, that was a cheeky little spot on the corner yeah. there. Yeah. That was, um, yeah, that was, that was, that was really cool. That were fun days. Yeah. I moved from there, um, upstairs to Sundays at elsewhere with Jimmy D yep. and then, um, he moved on and then, uh, Salmon took over, jumped in there with Salmon and, um, yeah, did that, played, um, played a few parties around, yep. around, um, uh, big then- highlight last year was probably playing, uh, sash in sydney yeah 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 that was that was big and then um, that is pretty big man sash sundays yeah yeah woo, woo. yeah it was, it was good fun yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. and then um sash. and then um actually a big goal of mine was to play at bohemian beat freaks yeah and um i sort of set that goal back when i was about like 19 i went to my first like doof, doof. and um and it sort of got me back into djing house music because yeah. i was sort of sort of like flush nightclub yeah, making money, Little job, money way or passion. Yeah. yeah, and then I sort of just, I don't know, I sort of grew out of that phase coming into like being like 19 or whatever. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, really heard like house music and like techno and stuff like properly at like these, um, these shows. And um, yeah, I was actually one of Rabbit Seat Lettuce's party and I was like, yeah, just my goal to play. play to there play one day. Freaks. Yeah, yeah. Or just like rabbits or beat freaks yeah. and um and yeah just sort of just stuck at it for a few years that's and then, um yeah got played on the main stage in november mate how's yeah, that really really cool that's mad <laughs> yeah <laughs> mate, shout out beat freaks eh? <laughs> that's sick dude yeah uh and now obviously you're also one of the heads of uh, yeah yeah uh, it's a little little taste of what that's about yeah so um yeah jagan and myself we uh we started about three years ago at um uh, rabbit seat lettuce so we want to, uh we want to do like a renegade stage yep. just sort of stuff around and we didn't um we didn't get any uh we didn't get any permission to do it at rabbit seat lettuce the first time so we sort of rocked up with our own generator like Bro, i wish sick. i brought a photo anyway it's just the get most ghetto setup you've that's ever seen. sick got like a few tarps um bit of a bit of like bit of vibe going on in the middle of the campground got speakers got like decks and everything so, uh, i'm actually yeah i didn't know this i'm really <laughs> intrigued so how'd that turn out what yeah it was um yeah so we ran we ran it there for like four days um with the generator and everything that is sick <laughs> and um and then yeah so it didn't have many people through our little campsite stage but yeah it was just a vibe and yeah but this is so far beyond that it doesn't even yeah <laughs> that's rad man so what did what did the did the festival say anything or did, was it all just yeah no they were um we sort of had an inside scoop with someone who was friends at the festival. It's like, look, just do it and just like sort of follow their rules. Yeah. And um, like don't don't don't, don't 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 be like boost like four because yeah. you're in the middle of the ground. Yeah. Like yeah, in the daytime we're like rolling and pumping it yeah. till like one or two a night or whatever. Had no issues at all. Just showing respect. Yeah, yeah. And Not then, being um, a douche. And then went over to um, went over to Europe just after that and um. I was with um with a mate Victor who works for Dragon Fruit, and we we're um we we're actually in Ibiza yep. for like two weeks that together. That sucked. Eh? Yeah, it was really bad. <laughs> Wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> yeah, and See um, yeah, we we're sort of um sort of just like swimming around after a night out like on um in the water there, and just I was just talking to Victor and 
Um, he was running. He was a good, like, big promoter at um, Capulet. Oh yeah, yeah, yep. up in Brizzy, yeah, 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 yeah. And Dragon Fruit had that. Dragon Fruit was pretty much running like the show there. And um, and I was telling him about Camper Preaker, and he was like, "Yeah, look, um, tell me a date, and we'll lock you guys in for a party." Yeah, because um, we uh we actually hit up Rabbits and got approved to run our own stage at the and Beat Creek. Remember? Yeah. So it was all sort of it was all sort of happening, and um, and we did the so launch. So this is 2019. No, this is 2018. Okay, yeah, yeah. Cool. So, um, uh, like the first, yeah, 2018, it was sort of, it wasn't really much. It was sort of rabbits and then like one party in 2019. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we did the launch party and, um, yeah, that was really, um, really good turnout. And then, um, from there we did, um, we did another event over January with Clive Henry. Okay. From, from Circle Loco. Yeah. And, um, that was like, we sold about like, Two tickets for yeah. that event and it was just yeah about two tickets and yeah it was a big it was just a big flop of an event and then we were sort of just like jagging and myself we're sort of just sort of like summers yeah yeah summers yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we were like um yeah what like what are we what are we going to do now like people aren't coming up to the club no one's really like, there's so much going on yeah. it's just like so, like we got to do something different and then um uh decided to reach out and mess Send an email to Instagram. Yep. And start with Bean Dip after Midnight Sounds yep. to sort of be like, yeah, we've got this warehouse connect. Like, we're not going to be out ourselves. Yeah. We're going to link up and do it. And um, and then we managed to get the party launched off the ground. And um, a month before the warehouse event, oh. really. Yeah. And the then, shows, man, all it takes. Is- yeah. And then from um from then on, uh last year I think we did about nineteen events. Wow. That's about, huge. It was about dude. like eleven warehouse parties. That's massive, man. Yeah, it was it was like after we did the first one, people people were just like talking. How do we get more? Um we did one six months later, we got out in the headline that. Yeah. And um yeah, that was a winter rave. So, yeah. yeah, it was the first day yeah, of June. I think I saw a lot of stuff about that yeah, on the metal. First day of June and um yeah, first day of winter, and um, we bought shitloads of Christmas trees for it. Got a lot in storage now. If you need a Christmas tree yeah. for Christmas. We Shout got out a, to anyone, guys. Yeah, if anyone needs a Christmas tree, um, let me know. i got about eight eight in storage yeah, that we so have no use for at the moment. Any lights? Um, yeah, a few lights, yeah. <laughs> yeah we'll save them for the parties, right? Um, They're not for sale. <laughs> now, uh, you said that uh, you really enjoyed the TikTok release. Now, what's your biggest accomplishment playing something that? I would um, I would say yeah, it it would it would have to it would have to be the accom- actually like Sash and you know Bohemian and everything like they're big, they're bigger Sash back. as well. Sash is fucking yeah, my Sydney um. I it mean, it's it's solid Sydney. There's <laughs> sticker. Where's the camera? <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, I'd, I'd have to say the biggest accomplishment accomplishment would be playing my own party yeah hard to um a big to you know just playing i never felt more comfortable playing so your crew, um, so your... Uh, yeah playing playing in um our, one of our warehouse parties yeah um the full crowd there yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Now, um, yeah is there was there has there ever been a moment of played while playing <laughs> and just kind of going like, ah, <laughs> like, like vibes yeah there's definitely um yeah, there's definitely been a few moments. Mate, like, you got, like you I got probably me. couldn't think of it. Was, yeah, definitely under the influence those yeah. times. But um, yeah. yeah, I probably couldn't think of it off the top of my head. <laughs> you got any cheeky ones you brought along with you? Yeah, or? yeah, I got some. I got some, I got a few tracks. Mate, this, once again, guys, this is what it's about. <laughs> Coming prepared. <laughs> Coming prepared. Yeah, all right, we'll hit this one here. Oh, 12? <laughs> yeah, nice. So what's this bad boy called? Um, it's one of um uh one of the one of these like cuts by um the Martinez brothers. Their volume that on Bandcamp called Space Jam. Space Jam? Yeah. Bro, do you like it? Yeah, yeah, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> and they've got a their, their whole album they've got um they've got a bunch of um a bunch of snippets. Oh and, like, really? The movie and that, like in in their song. It's Dude, really, really cool. Yeah. So what's the name called? Space Jams. Space Jams Volume Two, and this one's called Hitman. Yeah, lovely. Let's get. Uh, yeah, that was real nice. Bit of a 
Bit of Space Jams, hey? Yeah, Space Jam, Martinez Brothers, shout out. <laughs> shout, out <laughs> shout out Martinez Brothers. Also, yeah, big shout out to uh, Harry. Good luck with the baby on the weekend, bro. Cool. And uh, what's your friend there, Neona Moon? Yeah, Bria. What's up, Bria? Are you still there? What's up, Bria? <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, obviously, being involved in uh, playing shows, putting up shows, uh, it would have all stemmed from you going to shows when you were a bit younger. Yeah. Now, do you have any shows that you remember going to? Part of? Yeah, like. Yeah, I've got um, I've got two. Yeah, I've got uh, two years ago when I was in Europe, I was with um, my fam. Like we sort of went on a trip for about months after that, and um, we we're in Berlin. Managed to stumble across Rolling Stone. Oh wow! Yeah, and um. Got oh. some Rolling Stones tickets and went, saw it in Berlin. Which uh, would have been an experience. Absolutely insane. Like, the whole stadium was probably like 70,000. Completely, completely sold. Out. Yeah. And, um, yeah, you just, really cool. To see. Yeah. Was that, yeah. and just obviously going somewhere where the language barriers are. Cool. Yeah. Going to see the Rolling Stones. Yeah. Yeah. It was, um, they loved it. They loved it. Like, Mick Jagger comes out and then just talks in German. Wow. What's up, Berlin? <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to say what's up yeah. in German, but yeah, he said it. <laughs> what's up, Berlin? Oh, far oh up. techno! I mean, rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> That's a crack up. So, uh, when you when you went uh, to watch him and it's fully sold out, did you find yourself sometimes not watching the band and just watching? I don't know it sounds naive of me, but other people with a different language still singing the words and stuff like that. Yeah, like I don't know. They're sort of just those classic songs that just. Everybody. Yeah. Like, I was, it was sort of like, it was just such an, there's so much atmosphere. You sort of like, you don't know if the person next to you yeah. sit there yelling something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. So, uh, obviously, that's, you know, that was a good time. And then, um, there was another time at our big day out when um, yeah. Kanye West played a few years ago. Right, second week in a row, someone's spoken about oh, that. Oh, really? Exact... Really? Yeah. Jeez, yeah, yeah, cool. Well, um, yeah, Kanye West and, I was sitting up on I was sitting up on the top of like the hill, sort of looking. Got um got Tony Hawk. Yeah. With his dirt ramp. Yeah. And um yeah, I just remember this so clearly. Kanye West just singing, "Can you get much higher?" Yeah. And then Tony Hawk's just popping at seven twenty. <laughs> That's out of control. Singing right? that, and I'm just like, I got down, that, I've like, got it right there in my dark yeah. Yeah. fantasy. <laughs> there he yeah. is, bro. I'm just sitting down. I don't know how old I was. I was probably like seventeen. I think I was like seventeen yeah. or something. And yeah, that was just. Probably... That was the last big day out, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I went. To, I went to the one before that, and yeah. um, had like um, actually got like by the creator. I'm yeah, yeah, sure that's out, right. Out yeah, for that one, and that was um, that was that was a bit. Of, yeah. Got carried out of the mosh. Yeah, I, I mate, that's hilarious. <laughs> I have two, my mate Danny is watching now. He the same thing. His mate was like, "We're going in." Yeah, and so and I don't want to say the word. But yeah. my mate has like a beard and he's a bit wild. And yeah. the story goes, the Tyler creator points at him. Yeah. And he's like, that N word <laughs> is effing crazy. And he's just like the whitest dude. So shout out to Joel. So, um, also, I went to the, the Kanye West um, one as well. My ex-girlfriend at the time won tickets True. to get out. True, nice, nice. Through work. So we went there. And I would watch probably the first 20 minutes. Yeah. Pretty bad of me just leaving. And yeah. But I really wanted to see Nero live. Yeah, yeah, true, um, true. So I went and saw them, and that was epic. So I was just so over. Yeah. Because obviously Kanye was late. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was he was really late. And yeah. then I'm, oh, yeah, I'm just bringing me back now. I think he only played for like 25 minutes. Or really? Well, so you didn't, I don't think you missed much. Mate, I'm glad that I'm glad. Because yeah, I, I went yeah. and saw Nero and that. I could just see him backstage just being like, right, just, you know, yeah. just being like, who knows. But that's, yeah, so <laughs> I, I saw bits of it, and then I went to see Nero. Because I, on, I, that's when I was first like, yeah. Getting into that electronic music and just seeing like these two dudes playing synths with like a girl in the middle of the spotlight. Yeah, like, that just like that been huge. in the boiler room too. So just yeah. like it did that honestly that day <laughs> changed me massively. Um, like, um, yeah, big day out. Big day out was a a big vibe. Yeah. Back when that was on, that was Guys, great. If there's uh, if you ever get a chance, there's a really cool podcast, like a four part series podcast on the big day out. Yeah, talking about like how it started and how they flew to Nevada and. It just turned True. it into like this whole fucking yeah. It's unbelievable to listen to yeah. Um, and then one of the whole podcasts, something goes for about thirty minutes the episodes. The ones just talking about like the antics backstage yeah. when they like had Marilyn Manson, all yeah. like and, and supposedly um far out uh 
What's his name? Obviously, uh, Courtney Love, Duke, Kurt Cobain. Yep. And they saw, I forget who they were playing. She saw someone play, another little boy, and yep. it reminded her so much of Kurt Cobain. She supposedly followed them around. like True. She followed them around nonstop. Yeah. It's like an 18-year-old <laughs> little kid, like just yep. becoming, I'm trying to remember who this but I Yeah. Yeah, it. It'd be, it'd be really, like he, obviously running events and stuff. Yeah. It'd be really cool to uh, listen to it just because they pretty much say that they fluked them, which yeah. turned it into Big Day Out 10 years. That's or, rad. Yeah. Like, yeah. So interesting. Um, Back to Kanye, man. What, yeah. what, what's your, what's your go-to Kanye? Um, poor, Probably Flashing Lights, that old school song. She don't believe in shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's, yeah. I love that song. Have, don't suppose yeah. you have that with you? I oh well, let's have a look. That'd be rad, mate. If you did, I'd be. If you don't, I'll just listen to it later. <laughs> um, guys at home, if you if you don't know the song, look up "Flashing Lights" by Kanye West. May not have it. That's alright. But I've got, an, got another song here. That's alright. Maybe we'll give that another song a spin. But um, what's the other one? Timberland. Yeah. The way I are. Oh, nice. <laughs> this be one of your, like, would this be one of your go-tos? Yeah. They, no, these were, um, these were, yeah, these were definitely the high school, high school four fillers. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, mate, <laughs> this is for everyone playing at home. But uh, on Enjoy. top of that, uh, look up Kanye West's flashing lights. The video clip is dope. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's my wife actually in the video clip. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, mate, let's, mate, I'm so down with this jam. <laughs> Timberland, the way I are. Bang. <laughs> How about that, guys? Wasn't that a bit of a look at that, Ginge? <laughs> More dance moves, Jack. Bro, that'll be that'll be ten bit bucks. Of a blast from the past. That'll be ten eh? bucks in a sub for me to dance for you, Dave. Yeah, donate. <laughs> <laughs> Man, uh, so that was you peak high school peak first like Planet Blush. Yeah, that was the song, <laughs> mate. Baby girl. <laughs> oh, now when uh you've so you've spoken about you know favorite festivals play like that ones you've been to. Um, what do you at the moment miss like the most about everything? Yeah, just, um, just sort of, uh, like, Bro. Oh, Bro. jokes. Yeah. Um, just, uh, just, the, just the vibe of being out of work, just working all week, Monday to Friday. Yep. And then having something really look for, like whether it's playing in most like low key bar or playing at a club. Yep. Like, it's just like. I don't know. E- 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 they're both equally as fun. Yeah. Fun thing. Do you think it's mainly like the social aspect? Yeah, definitely the social aspect, and um, just it's having a good time on the weekend, and still have a good time on the weekend. But yeah, it's yeah. just a bit different. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, miss socializing with people. Um, yeah. yeah, all that. Did yeah. you have uh, much in planned uh, after Unity, which was dope, fun? Uh, yeah. Did you have much in plan for the rest of the year with Camp Paprika? Yeah, we had um we had a lot of things. We had a few things planned. One, we had uh this guy called Alexis. He was um coming over from I think yeah, Germany somewhere. Yep. And we're gonna put him on a boat party. Yep. And that was set for uh May and he was gonna play like a full full like live set. Like, oh wow. Full, yeah, full on live set. And we had him locked in. I think we still paid the deposit for it and everything to just a later date whenever travel over to but yeah. yeah, we're going to do the boat party and then, yeah, just sort of get back into what we were doing last year and, yeah. Just throw on parties. Yeah, just, th- just throw on events, yeah. We try, We wanted to try lock in, like, a bar or a club somewhere that we can add everyone. Yeah. Just our sound out there. Yeah. yeah, push the brand hard. Yeah, there was, um, yeah, there was a few places. Like, I really, um, I really loved um, Tabu Tiki. Yeah, like, bro. Their new setup with, um after um after unity well, yeah on the night of unity i think they changed the room around like yeah. a week before that yeah so we moved the and, index um, to the different spot and that is just like the biggest vibe in there yeah like there's always such a vibe in there but no, like, but i get you yeah 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 it um i know they're probably not like aiming to be like a club or anything but, it's, but i think it, you'd be surprised man yeah uh, we sat down and had some good chats and obviously yeah. went to adam after the party yeah. and he was like we need to push this like yeah no, it, was, it was really nice to um yeah, just it was just it's just such a nice bar and like yeah, they got some good things going on. It's cool space, stuff love, to look at. Yeah, love to do some things in the future. Yeah, mate. did you watch that? <laughs> mate, we'll sort it out. Don't worry, we'll sort it out. Speak to Adam tomorrow. Um, now, me personally, uh, music like means a lot to me. Yeah, certain song fucks me up. 
yeah. you know, gets in the feels. Are there any tracks that, you know, we listen to and you Yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah, absolute um abs yeah, I've got I've got I've got a few. Ones that just really set the vibe. I'll have to throw in um I'll have to throw in Back to You by Carl Watson. It's an old it's an old school song, but yeah. that, that one just just a whole whole lot of whole lot of goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything um from when you were growing up or things like that that you could have Yeah, I remember um I remember hearing um you know the zombies? No. Oh wait, there's in the sort of band they're the from like, group. No, nah, they're from like they're from I think there's like five or six of them. It's from like nineteen okay. Yeah. And um it's just sort of a song that I've heard in like lots of like, you know, old school movie. Yeah. Yeah. It's um as soon as I like I'll play it. As yeah. soon as I play it you'll you'll Yeah, you'll see, know. check it on. <laughs> check it on. So it's by the zombies and what's it called? Uh Time of the Season. Yes, yeah, let's uh give that a spin. That was, uh, that was real nice, man. Um what was that one called again? Uh, time of the season by the time zombies. Of the season by the zombies. How long? Yeah. So that's like what thirty years old or something. That's coming out. I'd say probably like nearly. Wow. Yeah. That's what I love about music, man. Like my go-to. Go into cream. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. like my fire. Yeah. It's just so crazy how song. Yeah, yeah. You know, like the wave on it looks like it's just. <laughs> Needs a good run through Atlanta. Yeah, that's but, just um, like yeah. a one night or two. <laughs> if that, yeah, that's like a YouTube rip right there. <laughs> like, like even people without it any ear listen yeah. to it, and they're like, yeah. something right." <laughs> uh, now, so the last show you played at would have been probably the Unity. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, and um, yeah, and Unity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, can you remember the last track you played before? Um, yeah, it was a um. I don't know the name off the top of my head, but it was a um, it was a deep house track. Yeah, opening for Taya. Yeah, his um, his sound was um. Yeah, shout uh, out Taya. Yeah, if you're watching, I met, I, met, <laughs> I met that dude. So like, I was playing on Yacht Club, and just yeah. this random. I just started talking to this dude, and he's like, "Bro, fucking." Next thing, he's like, "Yeah, man, I do this. I produce this. You know, when you meet somebody, like, hey, cool. Yeah, and then it was like." kept talking about it and we we're just having a chat and i was like oh this dude's like really nice yeah and we just had a mad chat and then came time for the boat to end he's yeah. like where are we going bro <laughs> I'm like sweet <laughs> ass let's keep this party going yeah but no he's he's, he's a rad dude bro so shout out to that was a sick set too yeah he's um yeah he's absolute legend and yeah yeah and like it. obviously production yeah very much up there. yeah he's um all his songs like being on basic records back in the day with that whole um deep house uh progressive style moving yeah. to um more of i wouldn't say commercial but more of like a radio playable more of like a colorful taste now yeah 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 definitely definitely some yeah definitely he's making the tracks now to uh, to hit like aria yes. stuff like that. Yeah. instead of like darker the beat yeah. port or like techno starts 100 yeah. 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 yeah 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 the so, stuff yeah. that gets you click gets you play yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It's absolutely now, do you have any tracks with you really vibing at the moment? Isolation. Um, yeah, I've got um, got yeah, I've got. Oh. <laughs> but um, I'd have to um, I'd have to roll with probably this. Obviously, you guys have been uh throwing plenty of streams. I'm pretty. If you haven't had a chance, guys uh. I've been throwing some pretty sweet streams on a Friday night. If you are sitting around on a Friday night and looking for something, definitely jump on the event up because yeah, 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 yeah. You're putting some sick effort into it. Um, yeah, check it out. Up. So definitely Always a bunch of a uh, bunch of few surprises for everybody in there. And, and sweet, <laughs> you never dudes know what the you never know what the stream's gonna hold every week. <laughs> ever, ever, <laughs> ever. Uh, yeah. So what track? Uh, what track you got there, man? Yeah, I got this. Um, I got this one in Japan actually. Um, I sort of downloaded it there when I was playing. Um, playing at this club there, and um, yeah, it's just fun disco vibe. Good vocals. Yeah, cool. um, Didn't actually bring that up, guys. So, uh, Braden actually living over in Japan recently, working. And had a few cheeky little residencies over there. Cool. Yeah, a few bars, a few bars around the joint. Right. Yeah, it's good fun. Good to uh, work, snowboard, and um. I went over there with no um no ambition to DJ. Like I played my last set. Um, I actually played played a nine hour set at, oh, the night before. 
two nights before I went to Japan. I was that like, must have been I was like, yeah, let's just get all the all, yeah, <laughs> let's just get all the DJing out of this. Yeah, like, and then yeah, they granted me um full, full night um Cicado and friends, and then um yeah, sort of got to Japan and then get to the um, get to the mountain. Spent about two days there, and then before age. you know it, I've got a uh, tractor S four on the way from Amazon Prime. <laughs> And um, yeah, I'm I'm just back into it. <laughs> yeah, that's sick. Um, yeah, bro, give uh, give this bad boy a spin. Hey, that was lovely. Hey, that was <laughs> a little cheeky track. What was that one called again? Uh, back to disco. Back to I should have guessed that. <laughs> that was funky as. Uh, now let's uh let's go back in time. Okay. Yeah. But to a young Braden. Yeah. First, let's say first like club DJ set. Yeah. Uh, what advice would you give? What advice? Um, I'd probably we have to say just start learning Ableton. <laughs> <laughs> probably yeah, probably probably just just start like yeah. I'd I'd probably say I don't know. I sort of I sort of did it like I sort of did DJing and everything the right way. Yeah. Uh, So um yeah I wouldn't I wouldn't change much yeah um, yeah it's been it's been that's so sick dude I, I wouldn't change anything it's yeah been, it's been really um, I was a bit the same dude like I yeah. didn't have weight yeah. no yeah. sink yeah. kind of yeah. stuff yeah. I was just especially tall being like I'm not allowed to look at that yeah. so, like paint match I'm just so great that happened because it yeah, it's kind of like riding a bike. You don't, like, kind of get a bit sloppy if you don't do it for a while. Yeah, and you just really, like, well, yeah, bring it back. Like, when I was 16 to... Actually... Yeah. So, yeah, that's... Had a lot of... Um, Jagan. Jagan taught me a lot. Yes. Yeah. Shout yeah. out Summers. Yeah, if you're watching. <laughs> i tell he's, you what. Um, he's a vinyl lord. Final Lord, yeah, he's sticky. One thing I like with the the beat matching, right? I know this sounds like oh, no better feeling. It's like getting it first time, just being <laughs> yeah. like, "Stop! Here we are, guys! Here we are!" Yeah, I remember. Um, yeah, like my very, like my first official sort of house club gig was at Rattlesnake. Yeah, shout out rattles. Yeah. <laughs> back um back in the day when um Mattia Mattia yep. was running upstairs, yep. and um I was working at working at Surf Club as a chef with Grassy. But I was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, DJ. Like, but sort of having sort of playing myself. House club club, yep. club, club gig before. Like yeah yeah let's do it um good uh Saturday night yeah all right bought like DJ four hundreds the next day <laughs> pretty much rolled into there like um on that disposable chef income yeah just pretty much rolled into there not um not ready for it. It yeah was really, it was a really good night <laughs> so you think the advice might be just to learn to you yeah learn to DJ before you go to a club yeah no, <laughs> I, I, I I was sweet but um yeah it was definitely um. I was definitely really at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> when I rolled into that. Oh, that's too good. <laughs> now, um, if you if you could uh say for the rest of your life you had to pick one song, constantly played uh, to you in your head. Yeah. That, uh, uh, way I've put it to other people. Not like a, say you're being interrogated by yeah. someone and you're locked yeah. in a room and they're yeah. just like blaring it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think are the music? What well, what song got a hand? Um, I have to go with. Do you know Steve? I think so. Yeah. Only you. Only you. Yeah. Yeah. I could. Um. I could probably listen. Really. Doing a lot of thinking about it, and that, but um. Yeah. Do you have that bad boy with you? I certainly do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. Alrighty. <laughs> Who was that? That was very nice, guys. That was uh. That was only you, right? Yeah. Steve Monite. 
pronounce that Mon right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, uh, well, dude. Um, thank you very much again for yeah. coming on the show today. I hope you've had a sick time and yeah, appreciate you having me on, bro. mate. Had to get you in. Yeah, had yeah. to, <laughs> had to, bro. Have a bit of a yarn. <laughs> have a bit of a something yarn. different to making people throw elbows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, making people uh, yeah have a bit of a listen. Yeah, have a bit of a listen. Uh, <laughs> thanks everyone for tuning in, guys. Uh, do you have anything to say, my dude? Um, no, not really. Just yeah, can't wait to see everybody come back. Yep. When the pandemic's over, and yeah, can't wait for parties for golf. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Now, guys, uh, I'll be putting up all the links, uh, all the songs from on our Spotify playlist. As well, cool. I'll be putting up uh, all Braden's links, all the Camp Paprika links. Now, um. When this is all over, make sure you do check out a, a Camp Paprika event because now that um, I've touched base with the boys and stuff, I'm definitely going to be uh, coming to a few. Yeah. Possibly yeah. kicking on. To, <laughs> to, yeah, yeah. To we've, got a, um, we've got a warehouse locked in. So, like, to, to throw a date whenever. Yeah, so, yeah that's we're it. ready to go. Well, the boys <laughs> have the place. Um, Hold on. <laughs> when you guys have the time, uh, definitely uh, we'll all be there. Cool. Now, uh, Check out their streams. They're trying to jump on the Camp Paprika Facebook uh, and doing them some Friday night. So jump on there and check it out. All the details are on there. Uh, now, next week, we do have uh, Mr. Corey Hotline Fletcher coming on the show, resident at Rattlesnake. Pretty sure he actually won your shot. First your shot or something like that. I can't Jeez, remember. Yeah. It. How's that for a throwback? <laughs> uh, now, once again, guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, have a lovely rest of your Wednesday night, and I'll see you next week. Cheers. Yeah.